My name is Chris and welcome to the channel. I'm here to teach you all about the skills and knowledge it takes to be an instrument technician in industry today. Firstly, if you don't already know, I'm going to explain what an instrumentation technician is and what it is we do. I've been an instrument technician for over a decade now, working in the oil and gas industry for the last six years. An instrument technician generally works on automation and safety equipment within industry. Industry has various types of process variables it wishes to control. They are the main ones you will find. Pressure, this could be the pressure of gas within a pipework. Temperature, the temperature of a reactor for example. Flow, the flow of chemical dosing in a process plant. Level, this could be the height of liquid in a vessel. And pH, this could be the pH of a wastewater system, for example. Instrument technicians interact and work on all the equipment that measures and controls these process variables. All of this equipment forms part of a process control loop that aims at controlling a process variable at a desired set point. A process control loop is made up of the following parts. You have a process variable, a set point, sensor, logic solvers, and actuators. So these are all quite confusing. So let's start with an example we're all familiar with. A home heating system. Now, this isn't exactly how all heating systems work, but it will help us understand a process control loop in terms we're all familiar with. In our example of a home heating system, we have all the components of a process control loop. So let's start with the set point. Now this is the temperature we decide we want our rooms to be, so we're nice and comfortable. You have the process variable. This is the actual temperature of the room at this very moment. You have the sensor. In this example, the thermostat of the heating system is the sensor. It senses the temperature of the room and sends a signal of the current temperature to the boiler. Moving on to the logic solver. Our boiler electronics is acting as the logic solver. Now this compares the set point, which is the temperature we want our room to be, to the process variable, the actual temperature of the room. And the electronics then decide whether to turn the boiler on or off. We also have the actuator. So the actuators act to manipulate and control the process variable. Our radiators in the room are the actuators. When the boiler ignites and pumps hot water to the radiators, our rooms start to warm. So all these separate parts all work to keep the room at the perfect temperature, which in essence is controlling the process variable. Now this is exactly the same in industry, although sometimes things are a lot more complicated. So now we know what a process control loop is, I'm sure you all want to know what do instrument techs do with these control loops? Well, there's quite a few different tasks that an instrument tech will do. They will do calibration of the sensors. Now, this is a task that compares the sensors in the processing plant against a known constant in order to ensure accuracy of the equipment. Instrument techs will also perform plant maintenance. Now, as well as calibration, this can also include function testing of the equipment to make sure it's behaving as expected and hopefully prevent future breakdowns which leads me on to repair. So when plant maintenance fails to prevent equipment going wrong, instrument technicians step in and will be tasked with the repair of the failed instruments. This can often involve very skilled fault finding methods. Now, as well as working on process control loops, instrument techs also work with plant safety systems. This involves working on emergency shutdown systems that automatically put the plant into a safe condition if there is an emergency. On petrochemical sites, there is also equipment that detects fire and gas releases. Instrument technicians are normally in charge of maintaining and repairing this equipment if it goes wrong. Now, there is a lot, a lot to dive into here. Lots of knowledge to be learned. If you wish to learn more about the topics we've spoken about and much, much more, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification button for great videos in the future. Thank you.